obvious. <laughs> it's Saturday. We're here in Dubai Mall. We're going to watch the Batman movie, but we're gonna have some dinner first and we'll be with some friends. But let's hope this Batman movie is good. Obviously, the Christopher Nolan trilogy is top notch. It has made a mark on society. This one might bring something new to the table. Very, very excited to watch this. <laughs> is there a directional mic on this thing? guys we're at home let's make some coffee while we talk about the film i mean this is not a film channel or anything it's just films are such a great experience especially now that we are back in the cinemas watching experiencing and it just feels so good so i just want to talk about the film just a little bit while i make some coffee okay so i personally liked it i'm not gonna give any spoilers away don't worry i feel like you should go watch it at least once you don't have to be a fan of superhero movies or at least you don't have to be a fan to watch this film it is such a different film from the previous Batman movies it has a very new fresh take on the Batman people who aren't into the superhero genre might still enjoy this some might feel like it's long the movie is almost three hours so some might find it too long but I feel like it was just the right amount to get all the characters where they need to be I think while making this they weren't sure if there was gonna be a sequel so so it makes sense that they try to put enough or everything in that one film so the characters can have like a proper arc or the plot can finish on the right note even if there could be more to come so i feel like it is the right amount i mean i personally don't mind long films i know other people do it's basically when you binge watch a show a show with many episodes is basically like a long long film but we don't notice that because we watch it in episodes anyway i've been seeing reviews online which is very interesting because they're talking about the previous Batman films and how this might actually be the best Batman film as I mentioned if I mentioned I am a big fan of the Nolan trilogy a lot of these reviews are kind of comparing and opening up some insights that I've never heard before it's just interesting to see those points of views if you haven't seen it go watch it it might not be uh, for the faint of heart I don't know maybe <laughs> maybe at least try you know it was a very interesting and very enjoyable movie i personally liked it let's get some ice for this coffee as you may notice i am at home i am allowed to work from home today jb can't because he is in the shoot that is in our office and that's why we the others can work from home tomorrow i have like two shoots so it's good that i have this time to myself at home and just relax a bit is that too much milk Mm. I actually did a couple of shoots last week. These shoots were really fun and I thought I'd share some of the footage with you guys. Hi, what's, what's your name? Hi Zane, my name is Kofi. Zane is the name you stand right here. Awesome, good job. So we're just gonna take shoot this. Is that okay? So is it okay if you give me a big smile? Alright, that's awesome. Look at the job! The job's taking your photo! Ready? Three, two, one, smile! Awesome! The duck is taking your photo. Can you smile at your feet? Oh, that's great! That's so good! If you want to do a different pose, you want to do like this, you want to do a funny face, that's fine. You want to do a funny face? Go ahead. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Hello. 